in the wake of uh, the death of George Floyd. It, it's it's um, it's brought about um, a lot of uproar in Australia too, and um, it's definitely uh, pushed a lot of people to face the reality of our country and our shameful history um, with the oppression of uh, First Nations people in Australia. We had a protest, we had a protest all around Australia a few days ago. Um, and so I attended the protest in Sydney and it was <clears throat> incredibly moving. And um, I think at the moment, I'm just trying to sit in that discomfort um, upon learning more about our history and what what I can do to change my my lifestyle and my my habits and um, contribute what I what I can and and use my skills to contribute. And it's it's definitely a learning process, but it's a daily. I'm trying to commit to it daily. And it's um, it's really quite uh, it's it's hard for me. So I can't imagine how hard it has been for the lives of um, of people of color um, to do this every fucking day. It's just like it's astounding to me. Um, <clears throat> so that's been taking up my headspace a lot. We were marching through the streets and, and there was a, we had a minute silence and um, you could feel the solidarity in the air and it was, um, everyone was just in really good spirits, but it was a very, it was a, it was somber of course, but um, you did feel that sense of community, um, that sense of people coming together and now more than ever. Bobby, you are not here. Can you say 